am so honored to be here with you today as we celebrate the significance of Black History Month. Growing up, I learned about the many heroic African American men and women who have paved these paths on which we all thread. The most important thing my mother has taught me is that the struggles of our forefathers were not just about race, but most significantly about the equality and freedom of all people. It was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who said, we must now transform the jangling discourse of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. We must now work together. We must pray together. We must stand up for freedom and equality together, knowing that one day we will truly be free. As I stand here today, I know that many who are older than I am are still enslaved. To be specific, they are self-enslaved because they have yet to free their minds. I need one volunteer, someone to tell me their definition of freedom. <laughs> Come on, I am 10 years old. I know at least one of you can define freedom. Liberation in your thinking. Good job. Well, the English Dictionary defines freedom as personal liberty, as from slavery, confinement, or bondage. But freedom is much more than that. Freedom is a state of mind. Freedom is the power or liberty to order one's own actions. So even though freedom may be guaranteed as a basic right under the Constitution of the United States, we can only find true freedom by escaping the shackles of our trained thoughts. Yes, I am an African-American young man, but I am much more than that. Today, you are looking at the makings of a remarkable young man. At age 13, I will hold my head high as I embark on my journey through high school. By age 16, I will be leaving high school only to make another journey into college. By the year 2022, I will be leaving college. I will be graduating from Howard University. I will be a great pediatrician and later the chief of police. Many may think I am too young to know what I do. Some may think I am too black to go where I am going. But while my charm, good looks, and good hair may take me a long way, these things do not define me. See, every day, my mother reminds me that I am free. I have the freedom of choice, the freedom of action, and the freedom to be me. Learn yourself and learn 
love who you are. I want you all to remember my name, Anthony Gabriel Gill, and I am the youngest official member of the Tuskegee Airmen of the Los Angeles chapter. Today, I am inspired and motivated. Tomorrow, I will continue on this path, for this I have been destined. You can find me on Facebook as Anthony Gill. Follow me on Twitter as Anthony G. Today I Am. Follow me on Instagram as I Am Anthony G. And please check out my website at IamAnthonyG.com. Thank you, God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Black History Program in Long Beach. <laughs>